What's going on my exotic family? Welcome back to another video. Um, so today's video, um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys uh, a few things that I've been working on here in the reptile room. Um, I just recently did a reptile room tour, but already some of that, a lot of that has actually changed and I figured I'd go ahead and give you guys a little, you know, a little preview of what I've been working on here in the reptile room. Um, kind of explain why, what's going on and, you know, everything of that nature. So without further ado, let's jump right to the video. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back to the video. Um, before we go ahead and get started, I wanted to give a shout out to my guy Rashad um, over at 212 Exotics. Um, he's actually responsible for the new intro, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I do. Um, cool guy, um, upcoming ball python breeder, so definitely go check him out um, on Instagram, uh, 212 Exotics. So, um, like I said, um, I went ahead and I made a few changes to the reptile room. I really wanted to consolidate a lot of the cages that I have um, and just make everything look a little nicer um, instead of having, you know, enclosures all over the room. It's still somewhat that way, um, but for me it looks a lot better because the bulk of my enclosures are in one area. Um, so let me actually go ahead and turn the camera around so I can show you guys what that looks like. So starting off right here is the original rack, as you guys know. Um, with a few of the cages that look a little different and I'll explain that here in a second. Um, we come over, got my snake rack right here in the middle um, with a cage on it and then we got more cages and then I was able to fit, just to give you guys reference for how big this rack is, this is a this is Kato's enclosure which is a 4x2x2. Two two. Um, so that should tell you guys how big this rack is. This rack is 77 inches long um, and 78 inches high. Um, so. Um, and then Luther is over here. Um, his kit enclosure opens from the top, so unfortunately I couldn't add it onto the rack like I wanted to. Um, so he's over here, and luckily I can still reach in there and get to him, so that's fine. And then got the little storage corner over there. Some of the stuff I'm still cleaning up, don't worry, I'm still in the middle of doing some things. But I just figured, you know, 80% of the work was done, and I wanted to give you guys, you know, I guess a little preview. Um, and then, so. I know you guys are familiar with this cage. You're not familiar with this one. The tortoise is down here. Like I said, Kato. I've got the bearded dragon, the carpet python, another cage, um, the rainbow boa, and then Venus, the green tree python, the king snake, like I said, Luther, and then the leopard gecko is now down here. Um, then we got this thing right here, which someone will be actually coming to pick up. So um, I know a lot of you, a lot of you guys are. Oh, I'm sorry. And then we got the tarantula right here. Um, I know a, uh, a couple of you guys are probably wondering uh, why I have, you know, three empty enclosures, um, and that is because that is my new next announcement. Um, I am getting three new reptiles, and I'm sorry. Um, so I actually added a tub down here. So a hint to the surprises: one of these guys is a snake. Now, I know I said I was done with snakes. But once you guys see what kind of snake it is, you will understand why um, a lot. <laughs> so um, stay tuned for that though. Um, so Tuesday, which you guys probably won't see until Wednesday, I will be doing a huge unboxing. I will be getting four new animals, um, which I promise this time are my last animals because as you guys can see, I have no more room. Um, but these four animals, are all animals that were on my dream list um, you know with this whole coronavirus thing going on um, you know everyone's just you know having these great deals and sales and you know I just wiggle some things around made some room and now I have space for all four animals um, so like I said I would definitely 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 show you guys that unboxing um, come Tuesday well they'll, they'll get here Tuesday like I said you guys probably won't see the video until Wednesday because it gives me time to edit and everything like that so um, I just wanted to give you guys a small preview of what the reptile room is looking like now um, so when I do my videos this is you know what you guys will see primarily um, I know the pictures are gone I actually am gonna figure out where else I can put them um, and then I can I guess I can give you guys let you guys know what else I got going on so like I said this is Venus right here turn this light Oops. Down. so it's Venus up here um, they're a boreal so I wanted them up higher um, however 
Venus looks really, really good on display. So um, as you guys know, he has an upgrade. Um, so Venus is gonna go in this enclosure and one of the new animals is gonna go in Venus's old enclosure. So I'm gonna clean that out. This is actually what I'm working on today. I'm gonna clean that out, get it nice and set up um, for the new guy. Um, so Venus is gonna go in here. We have another animal going in there, another animal going in there. And then like I said, we have another animal. Well, so actually, so normally what I do is when I get new snakes and they're going to my snake rack, uh, the new animal goes on the very top. That way I can pay them a little more attention. So what I'm gonna do is just move everybody a slot down and put the empty tub up top, um, which I have no doubt this guy will do fine. It's just kind of like my little system. It's kind of just something I do. Um, so, I mean, that's it. Um, the king snake is still up there. Um, um, so, oh, the fridge is now over here. So once I get rid of this tank, this is actually, this little stand right here is actually where I'm gonna keep like all of my supplements and, you know, hand sanitizer and um, my feeding tongs and my uh, temp guns. For now, they're just on top of their fridge because they're all, it's all right here now. Still have the Cayman enclosure, which is actually gonna get clean today because it's looking horrible. And the water um, level is going down and I actually just got some glass tops to fix that issue so i don't have to worry about the water um just evaporating too fast um so i mean that's it i guess you can call this an updated reptile room tour a quick run through um, but like i said i just wanted to get a little more organized um and just make it look a lot better um i'm sure you got you guys that have you know full-blown reptile rooms or or areas where you keep your reptiles it never is really up to your standards um, but I think for me, this is definitely a stride in the right direction. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I hope you guys uh, don't mind uh, the, the impromptu updates to the reptile room. I know I've been talking a lot about upgrades and updates and everything like that. But like I said, I just want to keep you guys in the loop. Um, you guys take the time to watch my videos. So I feel like it's fair. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed that new intro. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, make sure you subscribe um, and we actually just hit 400 subscribers so thank you for that um, make sure you check out my Instagram I am um, currently at 19 1980 um, followers um, I am doing a giveaway at 2,000 followers so make sure you follow my Instagram same name as YouTube DW exotics um, make sure you hit that notification bell tell a friend to tell a friend stay clean and don't forget to stay exotic.